Hi, and welcome to Bits of Blender. I'm here with my boy, Richard. Hi. Today we're going to do a quick introduction to soft bodies. So we'll start with the default scene. Let's go ahead and create a plane. Shift A, then S, 10 to scale it, enter. Let's go ahead and look through the uh, camera, hitting zero on the keypad, and we'll right click on the cube and control drag up. Hmm. Now, uh, actually let's drag it up a little bit higher. I'm just doing control drag so we're snapping to the grid. If we were to look at it from the side, hitting one then five so that we're not in perspective. Uh, it's allowing me to snap to that grid. So what we're gonna do is go into the uh, object button and then click on physics and first we're gonna tell it collision collision so that it'll recognize collisions and next we're gonna say make this a soft body now we needed something to collide with so we're gonna select the plane and click collision for it as well now in the soft bodies what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off use goal because use goal will set a goal for where it wants to uh, set the uh, end position for the animation. And what we want is really gravity to just to affect this. Uh, the soft body has gravity here. I just changed it. <laughs> 9.8 meters per second is uh, normal gravity. It has little friction by default. It has a mass of 1, speed of 1. We're just going to take those defaults turn use goal off and then to pre preview it we're going to use alt a hmm. and you can see there we've got a jello like cube yeah. and then eventually it collapses in on itself that's because it's made out of quads now we're not going to force it into triangles instead we're going to say use st stiff quads which will be basically the same type of effect so now when we play it pop down, you'll see it wobble a bit, and then it doesn't fall in on itself. Now we can play with some of the parameters of this. Uh, pull is the amount of stress, <laughs> the amount of stretchiness of the edges. So if we reduce it quite a bit, we'll see the edges really stretch. See a lot more stretch. Yeah. And notice when, when, when it's stretching and wobbling, how it's going in and out. That moving in and out, uh, we can control through the push. So we can lower that quite a bit too. All day. <laughs> it's really stretching and moving in and out. Oh, that's cool. This is my favorite part. <laughs> And if we notice what would happen if we raise the pull way up, but we'll keep the push where it is. Oh yeah, that looks funny. And let's bring the push way up. Whoa. It's a bit more solid of a cube. It has barely any wobble at all. And now, lastly, let's just do one with the uh, pull down lower and the push up high. Oh, that is so funny. A couple other features that we can take a look at. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll reduce this here and take a look at. So there we got it nice and squishy. And let's rotate it just a little bit. You can see the effect. Yeah. <laughs> and we can increase the stiffness of how much the edges are bending down here. BE is short for bend. So if we were to, like, say, I can bump that all the way up to 10, max it out. So you've got a very rigid cube at that point. Yeah. You can also play with uh, how much force it takes 
before it starts to bend. Uh, and that's shear. That's down here. Let's lower this down. You see, very, very. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Just we'll flops down. One. And then lastly, at least for this bit, uh, we've got plastic. And plastic, what it allows you to do is decide how much you want it to retain the deformation. Uh, so, for example, 100%. And this is in percentage. Uh, if we play this, it gets scrunched and it stays scrunched. Let's go ahead and uh, bring this back somewhere to the midpoints again. And see how it's kind of our sort of a dilapidated cube now because it's been crunched and it stays that way. Yeah, it just gets dented. Uh, we can make it a little more interesting. We can add vertices, so I tabbed into it, I hit W to bring up the specials menu, I'll do subdivide multi, and wow. now we've got a lot of vertices, this it'll, is gonna... sl it'll slow things down a bit, oh yeah, See, that there, was great, it, it really crumbles and it stays crumbled, yeah, now uh, maybe we should increase the stiffness a little bit, we'll just do that with the, the bend, it slowed everything down. You can see it's rendering much slower now. And effect will be pretty cool, though. <laughs> oh yeah. Much stiffer. I'm gonna I'm gonna escape out of that because that was too much. Uh, let me just increase this up a bit. Oh, yeah. I love it when it gets dented like that. Boom! So now, one thing I didn't point out is that when we're rendering this, when we're uh, watching this, we're doing all day, so it's playing the animation along the timeline. You notice we've been always starting at frame one. Well, we can skip ahead and see where it is. So it's actually doing this in our workspace. Yeah. So, I mean, we could take a look at it. There we go. There's our scrunched up thing, how it looks. Pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. We'll see you next time. Yeah, bye.